Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to run the flex offense, its basic movement pattern, and multiple scoring options that you can run from this offense, so stay tuned. It's holding him! That's a jump ball! You missed that one! Fresh, he got whacked! Call a foul! Get up! How is that not a foul? So what is the flex offense? The flex offense is a pattern offense where the offensive players are constantly moving in a predetermined pattern. It relies on continuous off-ball screening action to create easy scoring opportunities and is best used against a person-to-person -person defense. The strengths of the flex offense include high percentage shots. Because of the constant screening action, easy scoring options typically open up as the defense breaks down. Two, you need a high level of cardiovascular conditioning to run the flex offense, so consequently, a poorly conditioned opponent will quickly tire against this offensive scheme. And three, the constant moving and screening will force the defense to have to communicate in order to defend against it. The flex offense does have its weaknesses. It can be tough to teach and perfect. With so many moving parts and various options that require reading the defense, the flex is best run with a patient team with great decision makers. Learning and practicing this offense may take up quite a bit of your gym time, so I would recommend making sure you want to dedicate the time to teaching and practicing this offense before you start. Unfortunately, you'll often find that after only a few easy buckets off this offense, opposing teams will quickly switch to a zone defense. It's a good idea to have a zone offensive strategy in your playbook as well. And three, this offense will expose weaknesses in your player's skills. If you have a player who isn't a confident passer, dribbler, shooter, or decision maker, the defense will catch on as every player on offense will touch and handle the ball at some point. Now, let's go over the flex pattern. As I stated earlier, the flex offense is a patterned offense where offensive players are constantly moving in a predetermined pattern. It relies on continuous off-ball screening action to create easy scoring opportunities and is best used against a person-to-person -person defense. Let's go over this basic movement pattern. To run the flex, we want to have two players on top and three players below, two on the low post and one out on the wing. The offense is initiated with this top pass. Once this pass is made, the same side low post will set a back pick for our corner player to cut to the opposite low post, and our other low post will move out to the wing. A key teaching point is to have your players be patient and wait until the back pick is set, then cut to the opposite low post. Moving before a screen is set will often lead to a missed screen or an offensive foul as your players try to set a screen on a moving defender. After the back pick is set and we cut to the opposite block, our top player will come down and set a screen on this bottom defender. This low post player will come off the down screen and move outside the three point arc looking to receive the pass. Be sure to teach and practice patience here as well. Your bottom player should wait until the screen is set before cutting up top. Once the pass up top is made, the player who just set the down screen will move out to the corner. This is important to keep good floor spacing and free up the area around the basket. Here's a look at the pattern. Pass up top, back pick, baseline cut to the opposite block, down screen, flash up top for the pass, and roll out to the corner. I cannot emphasize it enough. Be patient with your screens. Wait until a screen is set before you move, and be sure to set your screen on a defender and not just an area. Once the top pass is made, our down screener rolls out to the corner, the flex pattern is set into motion again. We set our back pick, make the flex cut to the opposite block, down screen, and flashed up to receive the pass that sets the pattern into motion again.
Here's a look at the flex offense pattern. It's important to learn this basic pattern first before exploring scoring options. You can teach players who come off a screen and who just set a screen to look for the ball with hands at the ready. When first learning the flex offense, you'll likely move at a slower pace than actual game speed. Once your team is comfortable running the flex pattern, increase your practice to game speeds. You'll likely see rushed screens and players running into each other, and that's okay. Practice at game speeds until you can eliminate these problems. Then, you're ready to put in some scoring options. Now let's go over some scoring options with the flex offense. These are in no particular order of effectiveness, but this very first option is the one you're likely to score on first and most often. A pass off the flex cut for a layup. After the guard to guard pass is made up top and the back pick is set, you'll often find this cutter wide open under the basket. You can often make a quick pass here for a layup. I like to teach my players to look for this pass on the other side of the basket as it is farther away from the defense. A reverse layup is your best option here for scoring. The read isn't whether or not your cutter is open. Teach your players to read the two defenders here. If there is no communication by the defense, you'll see 4's defender get caught in the pick and no switch called out by the defense. A good and correct read of the defense will lead to some easy layups. Here's a look at that pass on the opposite side of the basket with a reverse layup to finish. Now, in these first examples, you've seen the cutter always going baseline. I like to teach and practice this for consistency, but real game situations may prevent a baseline cut or provide a better option to cut high to the opposite block. We can still hit our cutter with a pass here to score, or here on the other side. Here's a few looks going high on that baseline screen. Again, I always prefer my players to finish here with a reverse layup on the opposite side. Lastly, this scoring option may not be open on the first run of the offense. Teach your players to be patient and to look for scoring opportunities from the defensive breakdowns rather than trying to force them. Option 2. This comes after the back pick is set. The screener should always open to the ball with hands ready to receive the pass. This option opens up when there's no communication by the defense and two defenders end up covering our one cutter. Here when the back pick is set, our player with the ball is making the same read of the defense. If we see both defenders move to cover our cutter, our player who set the back pick will open up to the ball and look for the entry pass. Lack of communication is the number one cause for defensive breakdowns and you'll be surprised at how often you'll see this pass wide open. Again, be patient and look for scoring opportunities rather than trying to force them. Scoring option 3 is our cutter coming off the down screen. This player just set the back pick and is waiting for the down screen to be set. Their options are to continue the flex pattern offense and move high to receive the pass, flash to the high post or 3 point line, or make the curl cut toward the basket for a layup. Here we see the back pick is set and our top player moves down to set the down screen. The read from our 3 and 5 player is on this defender. If 5's defender gets trapped by the down screen, we have the option to move up and continue with the regular offense pattern, move to receive the pass for an open shot, or curl around the down screen toward the basket. Here's a look at our 5 player coming off the down screen for an open shot. If the down screen is successful in freeing up your player cutting up to the ball, you can also pop outside the three-point arc for the shot. Here's a look at the curl cut off the down screen. The curl cut is also an effective option if you've been running the flex pattern for a while. Defenders will start to recognize what you're doing and try to anticipate passes to counter it. Scoring option 4, the backdoor cut off the down screen. Defenses will often start to cheat off the down screen and try to steal the cross court pass outside the 3 point arc, 
leaving the middle open for a backdoor pass. In this option, we see the bottom defender come around the down screen and try to anticipate and steal this pass. Our three player must make the correct read here, not only of the defense, but also of our teammate. A solid pass fake here will open up this backdoor cut even more. Player 1, who just set the down screen, must continue with the flex pattern and move to the outside in order to bring their defender with them and open up the lane down the middle. Again, as you continue to run the flex pattern offense, you can count on the defense reading and anticipating your movements. It's nice to have a few counter options available when this happens. Teach your players how to read the defense early. Defenders will often lean towards or jump your pattern routes way before you execute them in order to try and steal the pass. Thanks for watching my video on how to run the flex offense. If you like this, please leave a like. If you like the content, please subscribe. In this video, we covered the basic flex offense pattern and a few basic scoring options from the pattern. I'll post another video with more advanced scoring options off the flex and you can always look for and create your own options once you have the basic pattern down. If you're going to try this offense, I wish you much success. Please leave me a comment and let me know how it worked out for you and your team. If you have recorded video of your team running this play or any of the plays you learned from my channel and would like for me to create a YouTube video reviewing the execution of the play, please email me at coachrustvideos at gmail.com. Blessings to you and have a great season.